Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story will cover major launches from AUVSI Exponential 2023 event. Our second story will talk about what happens when you combine old film cameras with new FPV drones. And finally, we'll discuss Zipline and how they made CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. Also, here are some job listings in the drone industry this week for anyone interested. HC Robotics is looking for a drone pilot in Cumming, Georgia. University of California Santa Cruz is looking for a drone pilot and technician in Santa Cruz, California. Skyscopes is looking for a temp UAV pilot in Camarillo, California and Greensight is looking for a UAV pilot in Boston, Massachusetts. With that said, let's fly in. Exponential 2023 just happened, and there were some major product launches and big stories. Here are the highlights. Micro Drones unveiled a new drone called the Easy One at the conference that, quote, will provide the lifting power to carry Micro Drones LiDAR and photogrammetry surveying equipment and fits in a case that's about two and a half feet long and one and a half feet wide and deep. Percepto had big news to share on the waiver front at the conference. The company announced that it had received a waiver to scale shielded BVLOS commercial UAS operations or the right to fly BVLOS close to structures without ground-based systems. Winners were announced for the Excellence Awards, including Excellence and Innovation Award, which Skydio took first place in for Skydio Dock, automated inspections of sites with autonomous remote drone operations. The Excellence in Operations First Place Award went to Jobs Ohio and the Ohio Department of Transportation for propelling AAM, which is Taxi Drone slash Large Cargo Drone Ops in Ohio. DJI was also prohibited from exhibiting at Exponential this year because AUVSI has blocked companies that are on the U.S. Department of Commerce's entity list from exhibiting. If you want to learn more about the highlights and rewards, check out the article below. Our next story shows what you can get when you mix old cameras with new drones. Super 8 footage has an amazing texture to it, producing an old-timey feeling often mimicked in modern movies to invoke a sense of nostalgia in a production. Australian photographer Jason De Freitas wanted to see if they could get aerial footage that had this feeling. So he mounted a 1960s Super 8 camera onto an FPV drone. The results? pure magic. And this wasn't the only experiment De Freitas has performed. He's also attached an old camera to an FPV drone to get aerial landscape shots in 35mm slide film. This seems awesome to me as he blended cameras and technology to capture unique shots. You can watch the rest of the video below. And finally, it seems like Zipline just keeps winning. Recently, it was selected for CNBC's Disruptor 50 list in 2023 which is a list of the top 50 companies advancing the use of technology to disrupt and improve our lives. And side note, Zipline has received this honor four other times in the past. Zipline also recently announced three new delivery partners in the US, two of which are notably not medical in nature, signaling the company's expanding focus on consumer drone delivery. The three companies are Pagliacci Pizza, GNC Vitamins, and Associated Couriers, a company that helps deliver prescription medications. And that's all we have for you today. Also remember to submit your favorite aerial photos and videos for a chance to be featured on this channel. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about the highlights and awards from Exponential 2023? And what about combining a film camera onto a drone? Comment down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.